of run Artie Tambaramba, also known as Tammy Porter, stopping in today with a little tag um, created with lots of art by Marlene goodies. So this is actually the back of a tag that I had created um, earlier, la well actually last year. And I t flipped it over and thought, oh that looks awful, let's do something about that. So here's what I'm using. I used one of the fabulous women. I'm using the tags, um, the black and white tags of Marlene's. And I'm using the new sticky quote book, the new paper elements. Um, when I say new, I mean the, the latest release, like the last time that was released. And then the Home Alone uh, stamp again, which I'm using all the time. Love, love, love this one. And I use a really old stencil as well. It was just sitting on my desk and I thought, I'll just use that. And I have actually, I don't colour in the houses on the video because I went away to the beach recently with the family and I took some pre-stamped images and I coloured them up there. So they're already cut, ready to go. But the paints that I have used is white, which is lace, mermaid, azure and sky, uh, yeah, sky and then uh, punk ballet, no, punk funky and glow I think that's what I had there so here I am with the houses that I'd pre-painted and cut and I'm just kind of working out where I want to put them um, you'll see that there's obviously some pink left so the, the reverse of this tag is one that's sort of a red and pink background so some of that got messily on the back so I do want to cover that up so I popped down some paint I popped down mermaid first um, and then I put a, put a bit of azure for a bit of kick. And then I do some blue, which is the sky, and also some of the glow. So I'm trying to keep it a bit lighter through the centre and have some deep colours at the top and the bottom. And then I'm using that um, sky paint. I actually think I ended up jumping up and grabbing the Smurf, which is just slightly a bit deeper and much. I really love that colour Smurf. So I've, I've popped that over the paint. Um, and then I have just wiped it off through that stencil using a damp baby wipe and it just gives it some pattern and some interest and I did that in three sections. So then basically just using the same colours I do just some mark makings using a flat brush. So I will um, from that blue section I'll bring that blue slightly down and the green slightly out and it just adds sort of depth and layers to your background. And now I've come in and done the exact same thing with punk, which is the purple, the neon purple. And I think I tell you every time, but it's my favourite colour. <laughs> it makes everything pop and lifts everything up. So now I'm still fiddling and working out where I would like to put those houses. But it, within this stamp set, and I did this in my last video as well, there's that um, rectangular house stamp, which has script on it. And it's really dainty and fine so I use that as a bit of a mark making in the background so I don't put it on a block I just press it with my fingers straight in because I don't want those square edges I just want the inside part um, again I keep that stamping sort of top and bottom and try and leave that center with a bit of light in it and and I've also grabbed out the um black and white sort of border stamp from the home alone and I've stamped it twice um, for the houses to sit upon and now I'm just going through the paper elements and I find because I've gone with greens and yellows and pinks and purples I find these little uh, sort of floral die cuts that Marlene did that have got all those colors in it so I think well they'll be perfect um, around the houses so I'm currently looking for a quote. Sometimes this takes me a while, but I do love Marlene's quotes because they're always so fun. And this one says, life is too short for matching socks. And ain't that true? <laughs> Disappearing socks, matching socks, ugh, sock issues. So I just liked the, the, you know, the quirkiness and funness of that. So I also decided I needed to add a little bit of pink because I've got some purple in the background, but I don't have any pink. So at the, I just grabbed the funky paint, which is the neon, and I'm just applying a little bit in sort of those darker sections around the tag. So just a tiny bit. And I also do some splatters with the pink as well. So it's just a hint of tying it all together. 
So this is where I stick down all of the uh, stamped images and the paper elements. But you will see very soon that I, I have a brilliant idea and it sprang completely off of that quote. So the um, I, I dig out one of the paper, uh, sorry, the fabulous women. And she happens to be sort of looking back cheekily um, towards, I guess, our, our view. And I noticed that she... Well, she had two legs but you could see her legs and I thought oh she would be perfect um, with some mismatched socks so in a moment um, I add her to the page and I pull up a couple of those bits that I've just glued down and I change that okay so now I um, am sticking down the quote and you saw me adding the splatters I added them straight from the tube of the paint I didn't worry about mixing it with water and splattering it I knew I wanted to control where they went a little bit, so I did it that way. Just going over a few of the lines, um, bordering the quote, and just sort of finishing it all off. And sorry about that, I obviously whacked the camera, but this is the bit where I put this girl on and I sort of have to move one of those paper elements, and this is where I paint in her socks. So on camera, I have painted a, um, a deep, teal sock so using azure and a white sock and on the white sock I add black stripes with just a pen and on the other the green one I add pink polka dots and the they get lost so not the pink polka dots but the the um, deep turquoise socks kind of gets lost you can probably see it there so when before I took these photos of the close-ups, I did change that. So hopefully you'll see it. I left the pink polka dots, but I just added white socks. And it just made it pop a bit more and made it more obvious, obvious that she had mismatching socks. And just like that, I'm out of time. So leave me a comment and I'll see you soon.